Hi friends, I am doing a video today on the Airmed 6, 8,000, is it 6,000? <laughs> Hold on, there's the paperwork right here. Anyway, I'm showing how to take the back off. Where is it here? Oh shoot, there goes my light source. The Double X 8,000 model Airmed operations manual thing right there so i've contacted the company they helped me get this transformer so if your lights are going on on your machine but it's, it's just clicking and you're not hearing anything there's a few things you can do so this is on the back you can fold the back down there's six screws that you take off and when you're pulling it off there's a little tube that comes through here and you have to gently lift it up and then unplug it pull it through there and um, it, you'll have to re put it back through when you're putting the back on and then it plugs into here so this it goes through the back of the hard plastic and then it plugs onto this little thing here so gently pull it off to get the back off once you've got the back off there's a few things you can try to see what it, it is the problem if the if the the if you plug it in and this turns on and you can hear clicking when you're pushing on the buttons, that usually means that it's the transformer and I have another video about that. However, once you get the back off, there's this little thing right here that you can turn and if you look carefully, you can see that I'm turning that with my hand down here and that it's moving freely. That is one indicator that it's not the, mo the motor that is blown out. This is the other motor. So there's these two things, right? I'm able to turn that one. That also means it's not the motor. So if you're able to do that and this moves up and down, the this thingy right here, you can watch it. If I'm turning this and that thing is gently, slowly moving up, I don't know if you can see it from here, but let me turn it the other direction and we'll move down then your motors are not frozen. So um, the transformer was the problem with mine, but now I'm having some clicking going on in the bottom when it gets to the bottom down here. So I was hoping to get a, a better look down here to see what the problem is. Um, and the, the people at the Daiwa factory, I, I, I'll put the number on, let's see. I did post the number on my other video about it on my YouTube channel, thesecretisgratitude.com, and it is also on my blog, but I will open this. Oh, let's see. It's not on that. It's on this. Sorry. I'm just showing you my floor. Okay, so the number is right there, and I will put that on the video, uh, the blog post about this as well. And they are really super helpful um, diagnosing it, and they've been really wonderful. So I just told him I was hearing some clicking, and he told me to send him a video. And um, But anyway, I wanted to show a few of those things, like how to get the back off, how to be careful not to pinch the tubing. Um, I are do show in the other one, um, and that's down here. I don't know if there's going to be enough um, light. Hopefully there is. So that, that's where you take the plastic, the cover off. And um, the other thing I did not share on the other video, I, so I show how to take the arm off of the chair, but I didn't show how to plug in the new transformer. So the new transformer, I can get down there and see it, is in that corner, it's a big round thing right there in that corner. Now I called and I wasn't sure because there was no instructions where to plug it in actually on this thing, but um, hopefully I can show you. <laughs> And it doesn't matter. I was worried that it would matter which side, which where I plugged in, like which lead went to which thing, and it didn't matter. So it plugs into right. Oh my goodness, I'm too close now. Okay, so right um, next to that blue thing, there's a white, and you can see the number. Okay, so the 24 volt plus right there, it plugs into there, um, and then onto this thing next to it. This this thing right there it plugs into there and they plug into there and then right next to where it comes out oh gosh right it's hard to do because I'm not in the right angle of the chair anyway where you unplug them just follow the leads where you unplugged it and plug them back in and it doesn't matter left right or white or um, the blue there's some blue ones that come off that go let's see if I can check the blue ones you can see the blue 
coming off of the top and they go right next to it down kind of underneath I can't see it oh yeah right there you can see them um, on the right underneath all the coil of wires that's where the two blue ones plug in and then the other ones come over here these yellow ones and they plug in um, over here um, right into that thing right there that there and there they plug in so um, it doesn't matter where you plug them in it worked great um, and it's been working awesome except I've been hearing a little bit of clicking so hopefully um, my friends over there can figure out uh, it's it's working great except right at the bottom and so it's just been clicking so I wanted to show him he said to show the the so the rollers go in here up there so there's a roller there and I'm hoping that if I show him just enough of the video that he can figure out why it's clicking but I love the chair I'm um, absolutely loving it so maybe I don't know if you can see well enough in there to see anything anyway but um, so that's right there and then these other rollers are kind of hard to see with this component there but but it's working. I mean, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. It's just right at the bottom. It's doing a little bit of clicking. So they've been super, super great. And hopefully we can figure out why. So I'm going to send him this video and show him. But I figured while I was making a video for him, I'd share it with the rest of you. And um, hopefully he said that they've been getting some phone calls on that transformer since I put my video up and ordered a whole new shipment of them. So hopefully... People are getting to be able to use this chair again because it's a fabulous chair. I'm loving it. Let me show you just real quickly. I'm going to sit it back up. It's against the wall, so it really won't make any difference on the running without the back. Oh, well, I can't really show you with the air because um, actually I can. Let me, if I plug this into this without through the back, it should work. So I'm going to plug that back in. Hold on. Let's see if you can patient. I'm going to plug that back in. I want to show you how I, my favorite ways to run the chair. So this neck thing is a little bit big for me. I have a, an issue with the neck issue. So I flip that upside like that. So if you have a neck issue, um, let me show you what I do. So, <laughs> well, I need to flip it back around. Let me see. I flip it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just... <laughs> So anyway, I got one of those little bean baggy. It's a, it's got little beanie beads in it. So I use that, um, and I love it. Um, so my favorite setting is I lift up my feet, and you have to wait for a minute. You hear it, it like kind of err, and then it got it get engaged. So I've got my work pants on, my slippers, so it's not too exciting. But so. I love to turn it on. Oops, I just turned it off. Sorry. <laughs> and I had it on when I was watching the motors go up and down. Um, and then I like to hit auto because it will do the whole back. But I put the feet up first because once you hit auto, it kind of freezes it into that mode. And then I put on the pressure on the calves. Now, you can see right here, it'll take it high pressure to low pressure. So you can push the intensity of what you want. Uh, let's see. Let's try this, uh, get it onto uh, overall. Okay. So you can see the intensity is up really high and that can hurt some people's backs. So you can take it to, with this, to the intensity that you want. I really like the heat on. So I'll put the heat on my lower back and that shows right there. Um, this is the timer. So I just will push it up to like 30 minutes um, and I'll watch an episode of something because I'm trying to loosen up my lower back. You can have it as low as five minutes though. You can see how that's changing the timer right there. And then the intensity, I, I have it a little bit less than that usually because I, I don't want to like, it pushes your back completely out. Also, I really like the calf um, air pressure and the low, the lower um, bum area. This one is the lower, there's a lower back area, lower bum area, and a lower leg compression. And what that does is it compresses the air right in there and it will compress that. So you can kind of, um, by pushing on that, that you can see the air pressure sign and you can, um, up or down the air pressure. 
see how it went to from little to medium to high so if it's too tight and your legs are a little bit bigger you can have it just be on a lower air pressure right there or no pressure but i like it on and i like the one on the seat um, the lower back one i don't feel extremely a lot i don't um, it doesn't do very much for me because uh, I usually have it in a recline so I can't really feel that one but when I'm sitting up straight I will put that one on and then this is awesome um, the guy at the work the worker that was helping me he's like check out the foot roller on the leg roller there's a little foot it's been used a lot you can see it so I'll kick off my after I'm warm and I and I'm in comfortable I have a little blanket here that I use too so I have the neck pillow and the blanket and then I'll just put my foot up like this and I'll turn the rollers on now you can do um, intensity on the rollers as well so you can do low medium and high and that shows right over here on the feet and so let me show you it, it's massaging the feet you can see the rollers and the sides and the air pressure is on so it's pretty skinny now look at that it, so you can do low medium and high intensities on your feet and um, put your feet up like that and it will do the bottom of your feet so that's also fun and then you can have the bag vibrate so the back heat up um, I don't really do the vibrate too much I usually just use the heat and then I'll do these individual ones so auto will do so you can have it be overall partial shoulder back waist or fixed and, and fixed will if you have a really sore spot is good for a minute but after a few minutes I don't really enjoy that then it, you can do all these automatic ones they have programmed in for comfort healthcare relaxation lay down rhythm massage auto air it will just do the the air kind of more in a burst type of thing you can do the positioning how you want it to be um, sit up but I usually do auto for a little minute and and then I'll do individual areas and then um, set it to like a specific area like if my shoulders between my shoulders is sore or something and then you can rotate the ro the rollers out or in so it really is a really nice chair so I'm I'm hoping I didn't do anything wrong with it. it's working great I love it I sit in it pretty much every day um, and it's really loosened up I fell on on a, a lift lip on a, a cement sidewalk and I jammed my my hip and my um, shoulder falling on it and so I've been able to just use this to loosen up those areas between the shoulder blades and on that hip area a lot and it's been really really nice and I really enjoy it but those were the the things I really enjoy by being able to do the different pressures on my feet and have it massage the bottom of my feet which I just love foot rub so it's awesome and then once it's down to a minute it, it like I will sit in the dark and I'll watch a show and so I won't I'd be able to see the timer it, it gives you a an alarm beep um, and so you can know it's going to turn off and if you're comfortable and you don't want it to you can just hit this timer in the dark and it will add to it so you can see how I just added minutes to it um, so that's awesome and I really really have enjoyed it so if you have any questions feel free to ask um, the people there are super great the help if you have a, having a problem they're really helpful to diagnose it over the phone and I really have I love this chair and I'm so grateful you know it was it's about the part is $350 for that transformer but um, well worth it for how much I'm using it and uh, it was already in the house so I didn't have to you know, get a new one and haul it in and everything. So check it out. Uh, call them if you have any questions. They've been super helpful. And um, and hopefully I'll be able to figure out what that little clicking is at the bottom. It seems to work sometimes and other times it's not. It, it's just on that one roller on the bottom. So um, anyway, if you have any questions, check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com. I've posted pictures and description in there. I've showed you how to take the back off and put it back on. You know, carefully, use, don't don't uh, puncture that little air tube because that is important. And um, how to put that new transformer in. There really isn't a wrong way to put it in. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a very blessed day.